Hello. What is the distance between you and this screen? Similarly, what is the distance between where you are sitting and the bathroom? A uh, hundred steps? Or hundred and ten steps? What is the distance? In olden times, distance was measured using the palm of the hand or length of a foot or by counting the number of steps between two points. But, as we all know, everyone has different size palms and feet. It's not the same. Similarly, how did they used to tell time? They used to tell time by looking at the sun's position. But, this method wasn't very accurate. Now, to get exact measurements, we need different tools because it's important to have standardized measurements. The names of these different measurements are Mass Length Time Area Volume and Temperature These standard measurements are measured in units. These units of measurement are calculated using different tools. Standardized units are accepted all over the world and are known as SI or System International. Mass What is mass? The amount of matter in an object is known as mass. It is measured in grams or kilograms. The tool used for measuring mass is known as a balance. Alright? Next is length. It's the distance between two points. As in how tall or how long. Length is measured using a ruler or a tape. The unit of measurement is centimeters, meters, or kilometers. Area What does area mean? Area is the number of square units that a surface consists of. If you want the area of a square or a rectangle or a circle it can be obtained using mathematical formulae but how will we find the area of an irregular object we use the paper with grids known as graph paper The unit to measure area is square centimeter or square meter or hectare. Let's now see what's volume. Volume is the space occupied 
by any object or thing. You can calculate the volume for objects like a prism or a cube or a cylinder by using a mathematical formula. To find the volume of irregular objects, like a stone that is irregular in shape, we use the water displacement method. For this, we pour water into a graduated cylinder Then place the stone inside and the water level goes up. The difference between the previous water level and the current water level gives us the volume of the stone. Volume is measured in cubic centimeters or cubic meters or milliliters or liters. What is time? Time is when something happens at two different points. The interval between these two points is time. How is it calculated? We can tell time by looking at our own watch or a calendar. It is measured in seconds, minutes, hours, or days, or in years. Now, the last one is temperature. The heat that an object has is known as its temperature. We measure temperature using a thermometer. So we can know how hot or cold something is. The unit for this measurement is degree Celsius. Now we have learned about different things like area, volume, mass and time. We have also learned the scientific terms for these. I hope that you are all happy to know these things. Similarly, you will learn a lot as you go on. All the best. Thank you.